Hey yo everyone, welcome to the Terraria 2021 MPC Olympic. Hopefully this is going live when it's actually 2021. This year, no BS, we're getting straight into it. I took 16 NPCs, all vanilla NPCs, no mods. Let's see who's gonna become the champion of the Olympics this year it might get crazy i don't know we are doing the same events nothing too crazy we didn't even do any like qualifying rounds this year because you know i feel like the npc olympics is a little tiring doing it three years in a row and i kind of want to change up what i do yearly this time around so who knows who knows i don't want to give any spoilers maybe we actually have human beings instead of npcs let's see we are here with our first event though the volcanic eruption who can survive let's get to it we got our first heat of npcs here starting with the guide who doesn't love the guide after that we got the truffle who doesn't love the truffle look at him and then we got the painter and the witch doctor now you guys know how the olympics go there might be some fairness there might be some unfairness i don't really care who wins in the end or who loses i don't care if i make any mistakes along the way but yeah let's get to it let us begin go ahead i don't even care where they're at they don't gotta be spread out they can't be spread out you know if they want to have a conversation as their life potentially is about to end go ahead not a lot of movement at all they are legit having conversations with each other the truffle and the guide are having a really serious debate right now i wonder what they're talking about he's talking about bees he's talking about poison the truffle is talking about bunnies and then he's questioning the bunnies i i don't know this is literally anyone's game though like there's not really a strategy to this it's literally random what happens like you can have the high ground and still lose if you get really unlucky but i guess the best bet would probably be just having the high ground or just being in an area where there's still a lot of blocks and at this point i'm starting to think the painter might take this first round he has a nice spot going for him the guide also in a pretty decent position he's got like that nice just spike of snow underneath him it's starting to get there there's starting to be barely any snow left we still haven't seen a single person get eliminated this is pretty insane this is pretty insane these contestants are going deep for the first round the guide finally dropped down from the pedestal he was on the painter still looking as safe as ever who's gonna be the first one out i have no idea the guide getting dropped down even more the truffle oh my god he's one block away from being in the lava this is crazy this is still anybody's game the truffle dropped down again i think there goes the truffle see you later truffle oh and the witch doctor follows along who is gonna take the w oh the painter got hit by oh and the guide gets hit by three in a row you can't make this up what a close matchup congratulations to the painter for winning this round we are doing the point system like we did last time i think that's what we did last time let me turn this off before he does so congratulations to the painter we'll go over all the points later all right all right let us get to our second heat of contestants we have the stylist we have the party girl we have the demo and we have the tax collector what an interesting bunch of people let's uh let's spread these ones out i didn't mean to throw him up there let's spread these ones out let's actually get them to be interesting this time let's do it i want to see somebody get hit by mine i'm not praying on anybody's downfall you know i'm not trying to be biased but i want to see someone get hit by mine i think it's funnier when somebody dies by mine honestly but let's see who takes this so far it's a very very even match oh and speak about getting hit by mine there goes the party girl beautiful it's like i spoke it into existence the stylist looking like she's trying to get that high ground advantage which that seemed to work last time maybe that is the strategy but still with this you know it's so randomized that it's still anybody's game so who knows the demo and the tax collector having a conversation mid volcanic eruption very nice they're talking about fire he's questioning it see he, he knows what's up at least he has the right thing on his mind now he's talking about fish though oh he's talking about fire again <laughs> and now they're playing rock paper scissors wow <laughs> what an interesting duo rock paper scissors literally to the death i think the party girl might take this one unless she just gets hit by like a barrage oh and as soon as i speak oh my she's still holding on though even if one of the pieces blows up what she's standing on she has one more thing she can stand on so i think she might take it oh hold up oh there goes the thing that she gonna save herself with and there goes the tax collector oh my 
this is anybody's game. It really is. Oh, and there goes the stylus. There we go. We have a winner. Congratulations to the demo. Oh, shoot. He almost went in too. I'm sorry. On to our next group. We have the tavern keeper, the goblin tinkerer, the angler, and the mechanic. Let's get to it. Just hop right in. We don't need to see anything. Oh, they're having a conversation. Come on, bro. <laughs> I try to start it really quick so they don't start talking, but NPCs, I guess they get bored real quick. They get lonely. Both the Tavern Keeper and the Goblin Tinkerer are taking a high ground advantage right away. Oh my god, and there goes the Angler stepping on a mine. The mechanic giving up her high ground. Very interesting. She's very close to stepping on that mine. Oh, never mind. There it goes. It's very interesting seeing two people take the same high ground. It literally can... Oh my god, and as I speak, it's every time I speak, something happens. Now, we've seen one mind kill. I'm trying to see multiple mind kills in one match. That's what I want to see. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys saw the tavern keeper right there. But he was clutching up. Multiple blocks. There goes the stylist or the mechanic. Multiple blocks were being taken away from the tavern keep, but he still was holding on for his life. And now we have a battle here. Oh my god, it might be a tie. It might be a tie. Oh my god, it's whoever's name pops up. Whoever's name pops up last. And it looks like the goblin is taking the first place. See, that's one of those RNG things. You know, you can't really control that. The tavern keep's name could have popped up first or last. Or the goblins and the goblins happen to pop a blast congratulations to him we have our fourth and final heat of npcs we are bringing back a quote-unquote fan favorite that disappointed every fan that he had back when he made it in the 2019 olympics and that is the skeleton merchant aka rattles magoo look at that perfect didn't even need to spawn him with his name he just knew we got the clothier we got the wizard and we got the regular merchant let's get to it boys have fun let's see who makes it now the one thing i will say about rattles is he's a pretty Pretty RNG based dude as in the event where he qualified for the Olympics was an RNG event so maybe an RNG event like this he will make it out and get deeper and get more points in this 2021 Olympics let's see he's not off to the greatest start but everyone honestly kind of just even right now he is taking a little bit of a high ground, but it's a little bit more dangerous to take that close high ground. I've noticed the close high ground definitely gets blown up more than the uh, further away high ground. I want to see a double kill by a mine. I don't know if that happened last year. Maybe it did. I had to watch last year's. I don't really remember. Hold up here. We got two NPCs getting out at the same time. You know, whatever order their names pop up, that's going to be fourth, third place, whatever, and that'll determine their points. But look at this. Rattles in a situation where he can get first place here and have a commanding lead into the next events. Will Rattles redeem himself? Do we have a character arc beginning? The redemption of Rattles Magoo? I don't know. It's up to Rattles. Oh my god. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. Do we have the redemption of Rattles Magoo? All the fans he let down in 2019 by just completely sucking in that Olympics. Is he here to get redemption? Congratulations to Rattles. Let us move on to our next event. All right, we are here at our next event, the Raceway. We got the four areas, Hop Highway, we got Actuator Alley, we got Cardio Canyon, and of course, sit your ass down. Let's do it. This is probably the most unfair event out of them all, if we're being honest. NPCs just get stuck. It happens. And sometimes the door gets shut on NPCs. I'll try my best to stop it. Say if like a door gets shut on an NPC, I'll just open it for them. Just throw them in there. It's not their fault the door shut when they were just like right there. I'll be a little bit more fair because in the past, I think if that door shut, oh well, tough luck. But let's get to it. We got our boys here. Let's get going. Boom and then boom zombie is coming that should keep them running wow does the truffle move that fast he, he, or just not even fast does the truffle move that slow is what i mean to say <laughs> get past the actuator alley good job everybody now this is the area where everyone likes to get stuck so i might need to help him out a little bit let's see though and all four of them got stuck except for the truffle come on Come on, boys. There we go. There we go. I actually got them to move. That is amazing. It gets a little bit more uh, disastrous when there's like 
one or two NPCs stuck and more are going ahead, it's hard to get them unstuck before the other ones zoom ahead. Alright, here goes. Door open, boom. Boom, boom. There we go. Everybody got in. And the first one to sit down is the painter. Congratulations. He's first. I'll put him over here. And now we see who sits down next. That is how we're going to do this order. Whoever sits down next, boom. Second place goes to the witch doctor. Congrats. Who is taking that third place spot? And the truffle has sat down. There we go. Truffle is third. Guy is last. Oh, he fell through the floor. All right, let's get it. We got our second heat. Let's just get right to it. Come on. Are you stuck? You better not be stuck. Why are you stuck? Come on. Come on. Start running. Start running. I'm trying my best to give him a little boost. Come on. Start running. There we go. As you can see, these two are flying ahead. And it looks like we have someone that's guaranteeing the last place. What can I do, man? If they don't want to move, they don't want to move. Not much I can do there. Come on. Come on. Run away from the zombie. Come on. He's scary. Watch out. He's coming. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. The zombie's coming. All right, well, <laughs> I tried my best. Either way, we got these two ahead of the pack. Keep on running. You guys are almost there. You are almost there. It is time to sit your ass down. Go ahead. If you want to sit down right now, go ahead. And there you go. The party girl sat down first with the demo sitting down directly after. Congrats to you two. And now we got these two motherfuckers over here. Come on. Just come this way. All right, there you go. I put both of them in here. Somebody just sit down. You guys honestly both deserve fourth. Like, you shouldn't get any points. All right, tax collector's third. Party girl, she was the first one to stop. So, honestly, she deserves it. All right, the third group. Let's go. Let's get a moving. Uh oh, okay, good. I was about to say. My boy Tim Lockwood here already stopping. Damn, he's slow. The angler and the tinker. Oh, they were just tied. And now, just like that, nobody's tied. Come on, Tim. Stay with the pack, Tim. Everybody stay together this time. That's right. Good job. Uh oh, no, Tim. Tim just, he's a little slow. He's slower than everyone else. He's a bigger body. It's understandable. Goblin and angler. Every time I'm trying to say the goblin and angler are head to head, they just like fall back from each other. All right, everybody's in pretty much. Get your ass in there yes sir kill the zombie oh my boy tim went from last place to first just like that the angler or the goblin tinker just left <laughs> that's his choice i'm gonna leave him out there if he just wanted to leave like that that is disrespectful to me there you go mechanic is second angler you're pretty much third the goblin tinker is literally guaranteed fourth at this point if you just sit down right now there we go the goblin tinker honestly disrespectful i was thinking about putting them back in here but the disrespect to just leave like i legit i feel disrespected fuck you again i have spawned in the skeleton merchant and his name is rattles magoo first try crazy let's get to it rattles magoo redemption arc man it really could happen it's really up to him here i noticed that this group like i just chose this group randomly they are all the old people including rattles rattles is literally a skeleton that's pretty old come on everybody run together please run together please thank you thank you i love to see them when they run together because that means that it's anyone's chance like literally we saw the tavern keeper he was in last he was the slowest but he took first place that's crazy all right everybody's in everybody's in pretty much everybody's in go, go on ahead you guys don't just stop oh we got our first person right here the merchant hopping in good for him oh okay fell through the floor it's all good rattles you better sit your ass down bro you got a whole redemption arc on you your whole fan base that you let down a couple years ago is hoping that you come here and dominate the olympics come on you were one of the first ones in all you had to do was sit down instead you're having a whole ass conversation and that's where the clothier decides hey enough of this bullshit i'm sitting down at least rattles took third at least he took third he's getting some points congrats everybody all right we are here at the arena first here's the points the point system is very simple you get first place you get four points you get last place you get one point you get it very simple yeah we are going to spin a wheel and that is gonna match up npcs against each other this is probably gonna be the most unfair thing like if a melee npc gets matched up with a ranged npc oh well hold the l should have been a ranged npc dummy should have chose to not use a melee weapon dummy good job using the most boring class in the game dummy yeah i'm gonna put eight npcs four from different heats on a wheel we'll spin it and that will be the matchup so let's hop to the wheel all right here we are at the wheel let's go ahead let's spin it see who it lands on this will be our first person fighting here and it is 
the Tavern Keeper. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's remove them. We don't need all the cheering. Shut up. And let's see who the Tavern Keeper is going against. Hopefully somebody who also throws stuff. Oh, the Truffle. That might be a tough fight. All right. You guys know how it goes. Best of three. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it. I didn't mean to teleport down here. All right. The Truffle. He is known to have a pretty decent attack. Let's see if the Tavern Keeper can go against it. The Truffle can't hit himself. That is the downside. But so far not a bad fight they're both getting some hits in the tavern keep obviously taking a couple more hits if the tavern keep can just find a way to make the truffle run into his own attacks then he could really benefit and take a w or if the tavern keep can knock him off of the edge he almost did right there but the truffle is gonna take that first round all right let's get it round two i'm gonna accidentally teleport myself every time down there on accident you know it just happens oh well <laughs> let's see what happens tavern keep he is not phased by the truffles attack until he got hit by one. Then he was like, hold up, that shit kind of hurt. Tavern Keeper, do you want to like uh, attack? You want to throw an attack or something? <laughs> the Tavern Keeper is like not moving at all. I don't know what's up with his AI. There we go. He's in there. He's alive in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, and he's gone just like that. Honestly, the truffle deserves the win here. The Tavern Keep did not come out to play. All right, we got the wheel out here. Let's go ahead, let's spin it. I think how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have a loser's bracket and a winner's bracket to decide first through fourth. Let's get it. Who do we got next? We got the guide. Oh, okay, yeah, we got the guide. And the guide will be going against, looking like Goblin Tinkerer, maybe Angler. Oh, the Angler, okay. Let's go ahead, let's get to it right away. Good job, boys. Have a nice, fun fight. I don't know why I said good job. But yeah. Let's see how this goes. We have a full adult, full grown man versus a little kid. I wonder who's going to win. The angler doing a nice strat where he throws towards the ceiling. Now you may be like, Game Raiders, why don't you just go really far away? I've done it before. Believe me, I've tested a lot of things. And even me being far away, they still throw upwards for some reason. Who the hell knows why? But congrats to the guy for taking the first W here. I think we might have an obvious winner. All right, let's get it round two just like that. Get on it, boys. I really don't think it's a fair matchup. I don't know if the angler has won like any of the uh, 1v1s in any arena, whether it was the OG Smash Bros, Smash My Bros arena, or the newer Smash My Bros arena. Damn, he threw that dagger right at me. Calm down, little boy. I'm gonna dunk you in some lava. You do that shit again. Gotta be racially motivated because I'm a mushroom. Come on now. You hate to see it. I honestly want the guy to win. Thank you, guide. Get him out of here. All right, who's next? Let's see it. We got the witch doctor. Got it. And we have the goblin tinker. Okay, projectile versus projectile, which means our last fight is also the mechanic and the painter. Okay, we got them all. All right, boys, round one. Let's get to it. Who's gonna take the W here? Who's going to take the L? Let us see. Both, honestly, firing right away at each other. Decent matchup so far, but the Witch Doctor takes a nice lead. Goblin Tinkerer taking a little bit longer to get his shots out, but he's starting to come back in a little bit. But the Witch Doctor still has a nice lead, but the Goblin Tinkerer is like, hold up. Nice lead. I'm going to have to match you. He changes it up. Throws a nice little arc with that spike ball, but the Witch Doctor is just firing away. Man. Honestly, that was a good first round. That first round could have been anyone's game. Let's see the second round. Witch Doctor getting the first shot off. I wonder if the Goblin Tinkerer's uh, spike balls can get multiple hits off if they roll really slow. I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like the Witch Doctor is just going to take a dominant second round here. He is just firing darts like his life depends on it. It kind of does. So it makes sense. No urgency from the Tinkerer this time. Honestly, I feel like the Tinkerer deserves the L. Because, like, low-key, most of us Terraria players don't fuck with the Tinkerer. That dude has made us go broke in Terraria. So fuck him. I'm not going to lie. This might be our most unfair matchup yet because the Painter is a beast. He is not to be messed with. Oh, and the mechanic also is hitting herself. Hey, watch where you throw that damn wrench at. She can double hit though. So if she was the one to stop the mechanic, you know, she could have done it. But the mechanic, what am I talking about? I'm saying the wrong things. The painter took the W, the mechanic took the L. Mechanic good? No, fuck. 
Painter good, mechanic bad. That's all I gotta say here. I'll go all the way over there. I'm not even on the screen anymore. If I see you throw another wrench at me, I swear to God, mechanic. She gonna come. Look, see what I mean? I'm not even on the screen. So there you go. All you theory crafters that are like, oh, you're there. And that's why the NPCs attack you. I'm not even on the screen. And she still threw a wrench up there. But yeah, look how close she was. Honestly, she might have been the best one to take on the painter because of her being able to double hit with the boomerang. But shout out to the painter. He wins. All right. I will just randomly choose the NPCs here for the loser's bracket and the winner's bracket. Let's pop out. Let's do tavern keep and let's do the angler. So this is gonna decide one through four in terms of uh, what place they get here. So let's get to it. Let's get to it right away. Go ahead, boys, fight each other. Man versus child, yet again. Tavern Keep, hold up. Tavern Keep, he, something has happened to him, bro. He's seen something throughout this. That first round he did, he was actually playing really good against a stronger opponent. But now look, look now. What has happened to this man? He is traumatized. He is so traumatized, he doesn't even want to fight anymore. I just noticed there's no slime on the right side, but it literally doesn't matter because the right side is the one that's pushing. The slime is usually there so that the both sides push each other. But Bruce, this dude just doesn't want to do it. He just doesn't want to do it. Go ahead, end him. Don't throw that dagger at me. And there you go. Tavern keep dead. We get to keep the same angler. I'm keeping the same angler. All right, let's get it. Round two. I'll leave the top of the cages open just in case. He oh, shit, my bad. I'll leave the top of the cages open just in case they don't want to do some arc shots. Hold up. This tavern keep is on the offensive. What the fuck was that? He hit the slime? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm oh, my God. It's very rare that something happens like that in this arena. The tavern keep was on the offensive. Where the hell did the slime go on this side? We might actually have ourselves a good matchup here. Just something in the tavern keep woke up. I don't know. What was it? What woke up the tavern keep? Uh oh, is he going back to his old ways? He's going back to his old ways. Maybe it's something about that left side. He really does not like the left side. Just throw an attack, bro. You saw how crazy he was last round? Just to go back to this? He's gotta be an introvert or something. Stop dash dancing and just kill him. Stop! If you throw another knife at me, I swear to God. You motherfuckers. You better stop that shit. You knocked him off. Oh, but the timer keep get back. But Tavriki gets back on the stage yet again just to run back into the corner and do absolutely nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Angular. I'm tired of these Tavern Keeps. Two quote-unquote lovers going at it. Let's see them in action here. Tinkerer versus Mechanic. Anyone's game. Maybe. I don't know. Tinkerer has kind of been sucking at... Oh. Rest in peace. I guess there's no love. I think I know why the slime on the right keeps disappearing. It keeps on uh, thinking that I'm out of the area. So despawns is what I'm assuming. This is a good matchup so far. They're both throwing attacks at each other real fast. It's really weird when an NPC. Oh my God, that was really quick. I was about to say, it's really weird when NPCs just don't want to fight like the Tavern Keep. I don't know what happens. And then sometimes they do want to fight. Like what? All right, let's get to it. Go ahead, boys. This is for deciding who gets fourth and who gets third place. This is going to be a lot of fighting. This last second it's gonna be a very very long oh well this is probably the best event that we have in the olympics so you know might as well sit through and enjoy it get your snacks if you haven't already get your snacks and enjoy the battle it's looking like it's gonna be a very fun one too because the tavern keeper he's going crazy and there you go tavern keeper's dad thank you that took forever but thank you for killing him somewhat quickly let's hop straight into the next matchup here you guys are literally battling for last place so i, I really don't care and also they really don't care <laughs> there we go tavern keep actually looks like he wants to fight it's gotta be something about the left side for the tavern keep maybe he just doesn't like the left side oh and look what happened he ended up right back where he started his mistake tavern keep gets fourth place goblin tinker gets third thank you Darge, for making that fast no that wasn't fast at all i sat there for like two minutes all right mechanic versus angler this is battling for second and first we are just doing heat versus heat here we're not gonna have the winners of the heat fight the winners of the other heat just because that's gonna take forever let's get to it two projectile characters one that double taps i think the one that double taps might win but we gotta remember that she double taps well doesn't double tap herself she single taps herself still she could kill herself all right we are in a very interesting situation here the angler is not moving at all 
please please move let me try something here let me see if i can push him up I'll go up there there we go oh he got the high ground advantage this is legal this is a legal move but the question is what the fuck is he gonna do Oh, he got hit right there. The mechanic said, hey, I'm going to fight back. Fuck your high ground. Now, the question is, who makes a move out of this situation? I'm intervening. All right, that's it. You're on the floor over here. Oh, my God. She hit herself back to back twice. Oh, my God. That was barely a W there. She just randomly hit herself twice. All right, let's get it. Come on. Let's see a winner. Let's see a winner. Just mechanic just beat the angler. I want to move on to the other fight. We still got the whole winner's bracket and then the next two heats to go. Now, here we go. We're stuck in this fucking situation again. All right, here we go. Move on over there. Move on over there. There we go. Oh, my God. And straight into the lava he goes. Congratulations to the mechanic. Finally, we can move on to the winner's bracket. Here we go. Guide versus Witch Doctor should be a nice matchup. They both shoot single projectiles. Let's see it. The only thing is the guide can miss because his projectiles actually have a little bit of arc to him. Or I guess just gravity. But he does shoot fast. He's quick with the draw. You love to see it. He's never this quick when it comes to defending the base or defending me against slimes. It's all good. I'll look past it. He's got a nice lead here on the Witch Doctor and he finishes it out. Good job, guide. All right. Can he make this a nice 2-0 sweep or are we going to a finale, a 1-1 finale? Let's see. Which doctor does not have the lead right now. He's a little bit down. The guide really does have that thing on him. He's got that strap on him. Not a strap on, but he's got this strap with the gat and he keeps on popping. Oh my God. He's just so fast at shooting compared to the witch doctor. This is crazy. I thought the witch doctor was pretty fast in his last matchup too. But the guide, 2-0 sweep. Congrats, guide. Truffle versus Painter. Let's see. This is a really interesting matchup, honestly. I didn't mean to close that. But let's see what happens. All right. Not that interesting of a lineup if the or matchup if the Truffle cannot get any hits off. Truffle, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> the Truffle was over here putting attacks underneath the stage. But when he was going against the Tavern Keep, he was putting attacks everywhere. Oh my god. Can we stop taking damage? <laughs> All right, let's get it. Round two. Who makes the first attack? Of course, the painter. Of course. The painter is the greatest attacker in the game. Okay, that's a lie. Pirate and Cyborg are pretty damn good. The cook from Thorium is also very good. Hold this L. All right, Truffle and Witch Doctor battling for last place. Who is going to take it? Who isn't? Oh, the Witch Doctor gets his first hit off. Let's see what the Truffle can do. His attack did not reach the Witch Doctor. Uh, that attack also did not reach the Witch Doctor. Truffle, what happened, bro? You were so dominant against the Tavern Keep. I know the Tavern Keep literally wasn't attacking, but he was summoning spores all over the place on him. But this time, he's just, he's just summoning them in the wrong area. And then he goes out of range? It's like... What are you doing, bro? There you go. There's some hits off. It's a little too late. The Truffle, he's kind of stuck in a conundrum here. If he doesn't start off with some good spores all over the place, he's not winning. Plain and simple. He has to learn from his mistakes. Let's see if he does or if he's taking that fourth place. Let's see. Okay, those aren't bad. If he can just get some in front of him now. Oh my God, that's a lot. He, The Witch Doctor can take a lot of damage. Oh, oh no. Don't walk into your own attack now. Oh no, he summoned him underneath. This was your chance, Truffle. You had the setup and you fumbled it. You had the setup and you fumbled it. Oh, he's pushing him to the edge. Do an attack. And maybe you could knock him off the edge and save this. No, he, he's not going to get it off in time. That's that's honestly a sad, sad way to go out. He had a chance. I have a feeling that I think I know who's already going to win the whole entire Olympics. And it's one of these dudes right here. I'm not going to tell you which one. I feel like you know which one. But let's see. Maybe the guide and his quick draw can end the painter's rampage. So far, not bad. He really is keeping up. Oh, my God. He dodged those. Oh, my God. The guide. Guide, if you win this. Oh, my God. He is. Oh, my God. This is so close of a fight. I can't stop saying it. This is crazy. This is the last person I would expect to be able to match up with the painter. The guide. Oh, my God. Oh, my. The painter was a hit away. Literally one health. That was a fucking fight, dude. Let's get it. Round two. The guide's revenge. The guide. Oh, it's not looking good for the guide already. Oh, man. 
damn that sucks bro that first matchup was good but the painter is showing that he wants to win the olympics and i'm pretty sure like no spoiler alert because it's pretty obvious you get first place in three events you pretty much win the olympics all right let's get it who is fighting each other next here in the other two heats our first person is the clothier nice way yeah there you go and we got the something like the demo all right sweet let's go ahead let's get to a round one two projectile throwers let's see how it goes one magic one explosives so far it's looking like the clothier he's got a quick draw uh-oh uh-oh what kind of grenade throw was that you need to work on that mr demo uh the tavern keep went out in a sad way let's hope the demo doesn't go out in the same oh damn letting him get a little close he wants to get knocked off the edge it looks like but he's fighting back i don't think he's gonna live but he's fighting back at the very least unlike his boyfriend the tavern keep all right next round let's get it who's getting sent to winner's bracket and who's getting sent to loser's bracket and it looks like we have an obvious winner here unless something crazy happens unless something absolutely stunning happens i think we have a very obvious winner the demo's not even putting up a fight he really isn't that one or two grenade he throws out every now and then is not going to help him. It's not going to save him. And there we go. Clothier takes the W. He's moving to the winner's bracket. All right. Who's next? We have the stylus. Now, if the stylus is lucky, she will go against the tax collector because that's two melee characters. Let's see. Will she get lucky or will she get absolutely shafted? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Party girl versus stylus. I think we already know the winner. All right, girls. Let's keep it a clean fight. That's a damn lie. One of you shoots projectiles, so I don't think it's going to be a clean fight. Let's see, though. You never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Your melee hit off the map could do it. That literally could end it. If there's any lapse in judgment. Oh, my God. If the stylist or the party girl thinks about not throwing something, then easily it can go to a melee person, a.k.a. The stylist. She can knock him off the map. As we can see right now, kind of a stalemate. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something here. Come on. No. Don't throw the grenade at the slime. Don't hit it. Okay, I'm gonna just drop her off on the other side. May not be fair because she's a projectile character, but like what can I do when they just sit there and do nothing? She's throwing terrible throws right now. There you go. Her first good throw. She's throwing up the lob grenade, which is not gonna help her. Hold up. Oh, just unlucky timing. The stylist honestly could have came back from that. Let's get to it the next round. The left side just likes to do that. Oh no. Oh, you hate to see it. All right, who are the last two matchups here? Let's see. We got the tax collector. Now, hold up. Rattles. Rattles might be able to take a W if he gets picked right here. If Rattles doesn't get picked right here, then I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough matchup. Oh, no. Rattles has to go against one of the tougher opponents. He has to go against the wizard. That is not going to be easy. This right here should be a very obvious matchup. And we have an obvious winner. Come on, just end it. Thank you. All right, let's see. Just make this a flawless match. Oh, my God. There is really something about the left side. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. Did a melee character just win a round? For the sake of experimenting here, I'm putting the tax collector on the right side just to see like is the right side really built different bro let's see oh my god but i'm not gonna count that as the actual match because that's that's a little unfair don't you think to give the best side you know two spawns mm -mm. let's see let's see if he wins this then he 100 percent deserves it but you know it's not fair that i gave him the good side twice so let's see Maybe I got to do a best out of five. But like if we do a best out of five and the right side always wins, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> There's no point. All right. We know who wins this. We don't need to watch it. There you go. There is something about the right side. I don't know what it is. I'm going to kill this slime and I'm going to put a new one there. Maybe it was that specific slime. I have no idea. For surely going to be the toughest fight here. Rattles versus the wizard my bad no i'd really just think it's rattles okay just pretend the wizard is our only hard mode character i think no actually we got a couple uh but it's just this matchup was just destined to happen i guess <laughs> whatever thing can stop rattles from taking a w was destiny i might have to move the wizard a little bit just so rattles moves there we go oh 
Rattles, you moved a little too much, bro. I put them on the good side, too. The side that supposedly everybody wins on. Well, that's actually cap. Just certain characters win on there. So let's see what happens when I put him on the opposite side. So far, he's doing pretty good. He's dodging. He got a couple of hits off. And then now he's going into the death corner. Don't go in that corner, Rattles. Hey, if you want to die, go in that corner. But if you want to live, stay out of it. He has a chance. He's not getting hit by a lot of these. Oh my god, and then he gets hit by four in a row. Five. Six. What can he do? Oh my. Six in a row. That is insane. Good comeback by the wizard. The wizard showing. Hey, I'm trying to take this W, bro. All right, let's get to it. Loser's bracket. Uh, let's do a uh, stylist versus tax collector. Sure, why not? The two melee characters can go at it. Why not? Either way, one of these melee characters is going to end up fighting a range character. Let's see it in action here. Oh, God, here we go. I got to get them to move towards each other. Go ahead. Move towards each other. Go ahead. Yeah, might as well tap you. Okay, they both got tapped once. Fair fight. Now go ahead and swing your melee weapons at each other. Oh, good save by the tax collector. He can make a move here. He can knock the stylus into the spears or the lava. See, the melee versus melee fights actually can get pretty interesting. It looks like the stylus will be taking a commanding W, though. But I like that the tax collector put a move on there. All right, go ahead, round two. If the tax collector can actually land a hit and knock her off, he has a chance. Oh, man, the stylus is juggling him. Oh, my God. The stylus deserved the W there with that juggle. Good job. All right. Demolitionist rattles. Actually got rattles without even trying to spawn them in. It, I've gotten them almost every single time. And rattles takes a nice W. Good job, rattles. Let's run it back. The demo had a chance. The knockback of his grenades can literally send rattles into spikes or just off the edge. We've seen it before. But like, if he's not aiming, he's not winning. All right, we have Rattles versus the Stylus. This should be an easy matchup for Rattles because like, come on, range versus not range, come on, come on Rattles. You got it, bro. You got it. Just when you get knocked off, just land back where you need to land. Oh, oh damn. We're seeing some new tech by Rattles. He landed a shot on her while he was flying up. That was amazing. You deserve to win this. <laughs> That shit was so cool. You got style points. Rattles, just finish it. Stop dash dancing. There we go. Oh, hold up. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Whew. She almost got in a good position to get some hits and Rattles trying to make it close. All right, let us get it here. Boom. Oh, my. She got hit by the spear. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible anymore. That spear hit might have just ended it. Oh, my God. Rattles taking first place in his heat or at least in the loser bracket good job rattles all right let's go ahead let's watch the uh loser matchup here demo versus tax collector gonna be a great matchup honestly i don't know the demo kind of sucks <laughs> will he do anything this time all right at least he's making it quick i can thank him for that i could always appreciate when an npc wants to make the fight quick because you know makes my life easier we can move on hold up though tax collector said i'm back in action baby oh my god all right, let's get it. Who wins this? Tax collector has a chance. If he just doesn't run away, just don't run away. <gasps> no. Rest in peace. That's fine. Get the fight over with. I don't want to watch this. All right, let us see here. We got the clothier, the party girl, the merchant, and the wizard. I think for the sake of having a good matchup here, I think we're going to see the clothier and the wizard in the finals. So we'll put the clothier against one of the other two. Uh, let's, let's, do, let's do the party girl, I guess. It doesn't really matter. They got similar attacks. Let's see what happens though. Maybe the party girl can pull it out and kill the clothier. I have no idea. I think the wizard's probably going to take the overall W just because the wizard has great attacks. And as a bonus, I know I said I'm not going to put the the winners of the heats against each other because that would take forever imagine if i had a super long losers and winners bracket oh my god just thinking about that drives me crazy but as a bonus i do want to see the wizard versus the painter i feel like that might be a good matchup just a little bonus matchup but we're at the point where like like i said kind of spoilers but again not really if you're paying attention the painter is won every single round <laughs> He's taking first place in every single event. So it's not really a spoiler. Like, that dude is just a dominant player, plain and simple. And we have our winner, the Clothier, 
good job wizard versus the merchant two dudes that could be the same dude i don't know they look very similar oh my god the wizard is just strong bro he is just strong i am honestly excited to see him go against the painter it might be a good matchup i don't know if i've ever done that matchup before wizard versus painter wizard missing his first shot missing his second shot third fourth oh my god never mind he follows it up with a four hit combo and then misses three what the hell is going on right now honestly maybe the guide could have been the one to beat the wizard the guide is the most impressive npc i've seen for what he has he has just a bow and he's able to do so much with it all right party girl versus merchant just throw a little harder bro and you would probably hit her that fight took way too long and i really don't want to watch it again but we have to all right go ahead go at it there you go the fight is over that was so long for no reason bro <laughs> all right wizard clothier let's get it i'm hyped for this two magic projectile characters let's see it the wizard obviously has a little bit more oomph but the wizard can miss that's the thing clothier doesn't miss too often if he does it he shoots the floor because he's really far away just like that but he still has the better range than the wizard it's just you know you gotta get lucky and hope the wizard misses which he can easily do but not that time all right let's run it back let's hope the wizard misses let's hope the clothier's aim is on point oh man that was pretty good dodging right there by the clothier but the wizard lands two hits in a row oh man there's just times like that where the wizard lands multiple hits and you really can't come back from it the clothier hasn't sent out attack in a while he kind of deserves to take the l all right so we have a clear winner we have a clear winner like i said but let's see the painter versus the wizard bonus matchup let's do it a little, little extra fun come on wizard get some shots in get some shots in the damage you have done to all the other npcs and for you to go down against this guy so easily oh my let's go ahead let's switch up the sides here put the painter on the other side wizard on this side let's get it let's get it come on wizard you can do it maybe you can't because the painter he is a threat how does the guide how does the guide put up such a fight i, I kind of want to see the guide versus the wizard now like you gotta honestly understand how impressive it was for the guide to go he head to head against the painter and almost win so maybe he could beat the wizard maybe he can oh i don't know this is not looking good so far this is not looking good maybe it's because he was on the right side i feel like the wizard low-key is better on the left side when the wizard's on the right side i feel like he misses a lot more the guide making this a great matchup though really is making this a great matchup the guide deserves at least like a bonus point i'm about to give him a plus one just for him putting up good matchups okay the wizard is kind of going crazy this round he said i'm tired of the bullshit but not against the painter not against the painter you're not tired of the bullshit all right here are the total points we have an obvious winner a very close runner up though a very surprising close runner up is rattles and the stylist congrats to them just not close enough to beat the painter congrats to the painter gets to live in the golden house this again this might be his second time here i don't remember i feel like i remember the painter having a dominant past olympics might be thinking about a different npc because i also think there was an olympics where an npc tied and there was two of them and the painter might have been a part of that tie but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed again like i said the npc olympics probably won't happen next year unless you know we find more more interesting events to do but i kind of want to do it with some real people maybe it might not be the olympics maybe it'll be something else i don't know we'll find a new yearly thing to do i hope you guys enjoyed have a good new year's